this video rhombus or trapezoid and finding the area of a composite figure or shaded regions. So a trapezoid, the area of a trapezoid is one half height times base one plus base two. So remember in a trapezoid, unlike a triangle, it's going to have two bases. So that's why we have to add them together first. If you have the median of a trapezoid, then it is going to be that's one half base one plus base two. So the reason why is because in our trapezoid, we have base one, we have base two. Halfway between the two bases then is our median. So if we look at these two formulas, we can see then that our median is one half base one plus base two. So when we replace that, we could also say then that the area of our trapezoid is equal to height times the median. So let's use these formulas to find the area of a trapezoid. So in number one, this 11 is going to be our median. So if we're finding the area, we just talked about its height times median. So the area in this case would be 11 times 12, which would be 132 millimeters squared. In number two, we have a trapezoid with two bases and congruent legs. So because it has congruent legs, we can draw in our heights to divide this into a rectangle and triangles. This will help us find the height of the trapezoid. So if the top base, the smaller one is five, we can bring that down in our rectangle. Then we have to find the remainder of what's left from 23. So 23 minus five would get us 18. And if I split it evenly between the triangles, the base is nine for the triangle. So to find the height of the triangle, we have two sides, 9 and 15, so we can do Pythagorean theorem to find the height. So 15 squared equals x squared plus 9 squared. 225 equals x squared plus 81. x squared equals 144, so x is 12. So now that we know our height is 12 and we have base 1 and base 2, we can use our regular area of a trapezoid. So the area is equal to 1 half the height is 12 times our bases, so 5 plus 23. Now you can either add it together first and then put in your calculator, or you could type it all in your calculator at once. So if I add them together, I get 28. So 1 half times 12 times 28 is 162 meters squared. In number three, the measure of consecutive sides of a trapezoid are in the ratio of two to five to eight to five. The perimeter of the trapezoid is 200 centimeters. Find the area. So using our ratio, each part of the ratio can have an X. So we have two X plus five X plus eight X plus five X. Those are the four sides of the trapezoid. They're gonna equal the perimeter of 200. So when we combine the X's, we get 20 X equals 200, divide X is 10. Now we can find the actual side lengths of the trapezoids. So because there are two ratios that are the same, we know that those are the legs of the triangles or of the trapezoid. So when we draw our trapezoid, the shortest side is 2x, so that's going to be 20. The legs are going to be 5x, which would be 50 in this case, and then the largest side is going to be 80. So now that we have our trapezoid, we can draw in our heights. If I bring the base down of 20, 80 minus 20 is 60, so that splits us to 30 and 30 in each trapezoid. So to find the height, we would do Pythagorean theorem. 50 squared equals x squared plus 30 squared. 2,500 equals x squared plus 900. x squared equals 1,600. So x is 40. Now that we know the height is 40 and we have our bases, we can do our area. So our area is equal to 1 half the height of 40 times base plus base, so 20 plus 80. So we would get 1 half times 40 times 100. And we get our area is 2,000 centimeters squared. In number four, the area of the trapezoid is 84 yards squared if the trapezoid has a base of 10 and a height of 
six, what is the length of the second base? So our area is equal to one half height times base one plus base two. So we know one of the bases and we know the height. So 84 is equal to one half times six times 10 plus the base, the second base. Half of six is three. So we have 84 equals three times 10 plus base two. We can distribute our three. So 84 equals 30 plus three times the second base. We can subtract 30 from both sides. So we get 54 equals three times base two. When we divide by three, we get the second base is gonna have a length of 18 yards. So now we're going to move to kites and a rhombus. So the area of a kite is one half diagonal one times diagonal two, which is also the same formula for a rhombus. So let's look at those shapes and using our formulas. So in number five, we want to find the area of the figure. Well, five has four congruent sides, so that means this is a rhombus. So to find the area of our rhombus, we know that the diagonals are bisected. So we have two pieces that are six and two pieces that are 11. So when we go to do the area, we need the whole diagonal. So six plus six gets us 12, and 11 plus 11 gets us 22. So it's one half, 12 times 22. And that gets us 132 inches squared. In number six for our kite here, we know that that creates four right triangles and that the shorter diagonal between the two different sets of sides is bisected. So right now we know one of our diagonals is 16. To get the other diagonal though, we need to know the length of this piece and this piece. So we're gonna have to do Pythagorean theorem twice. So first I'm gonna do 34 squared equals 16 squared plus x squared. So we get 1,156 equals 256 plus x squared. x squared equals 900, so x is 30. So this part of the diagonal is 30. Then we're going to do it again with the 20 and the 16. So we have 20 squared equals 16 squared plus y squared. So we have 400 is equal to 256 plus y squared. y squared is equal to 144, which means that y is 12. So our diagonals then are going to be 16 and 42, and we add those together. So our area is 1 half 32 times 42. So we can put that all in the calculator, and we get 672 meters squared for our area. In number seven, we have a kite with our special right triangles because in the center, these are all 90 degrees. So we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle and a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So in the 30, 60, 90 triangle, we have S, S root three and two S. So to get S, we're gonna divide 12 by two and we get six. So our shorter diagonal is bisected into six and six and part of the lo longer diagonal is six root three. Then we're going to move into the 45, 45, 90. So we have L, L, L root 2. So we know that L is 6 and our other side is L root 2. Since we're just finding the area, we can focus on our diagonals. So one diagonal is 6 plus 6, which is 12. And the other diagonal is 6 plus 6 root 3. So our area is equal to 1 half times 12 times 6 plus 6 root 3. So half of 12 is 6, and then we can distribute that 6 into our parentheses. So we get our area is 36 plus 36 root 3. We can't combine these because one is a constant and one has a radical. So we're going to leave it and just add our units. We're going to leave this as an exact answer, though. In number 8, we have another kite with the longer diagonal with the numbers on it. If we focus on half the kite, we have our altitude hypotenuse theorems here because we know that two pieces of the longer diagonal are three and 12. We wanna look for this side. 
So we would have x squared equals piece times piece because it's in the middle here. So we get x squared equals 36, x is 6, so each part of the shorter diagonal is 6. So our area then is going to be 1 half 12 times 15, which gets us an area of 90 feet squared. In number 9, the area of a rhombus is 30 meters squared. If one diagonal is 40 meters, what is the perimeter of the rhombus? So first of all, we know that our area is equal to 1 half diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So 360 is equal to 1 half times 40, and we're looking for that second diagonal. Half of 40 is 20, so we have 360 equals 20 times diagonal 2. If we divide by 20, we get that our diagonal 2 is 18. So now we can use that to find our perimeter. So in a rhombus, remember that all of our sides are congruent, the diagonals are perpendicular, and they bisect each other. So if one diagonal is 40, that bisects into 20 and 20. If the other diagonal is 18, that bisects into 9 and 9. So we can use one of these triangles to find the side length of our rhombus. So x squared equals 20 squared plus 9 squared. So we get x squared equals 481. And when we take the square root of 481, it becomes a decimal. So we need to simplify that. But 481 can't be simplified, so that means each side is just 481. So our perimeter is 4 root 481 meters. Now let's go the other way. So number 10, the perimeter of the rhombus is 80 centimeters, if one diagonal is 24, what is the area? So in order to do that, we need to know what the other diagonal is. So if our perimeter is 80, 80 divided by four sides gets us each side of our rhombus is 20. One of the diagonals is bisected, so we know that 24 bisects into 12 and 12. We need to find the other diagonal by doing Pythagorean theorem. So in this case, we have 20 squared equals 12 squared plus x squared. 400 equals 144 plus x squared. So x squared equals 256, which means that x is 16. Remember to double that, though, so your other diagonal is 32. So our area, that is 1 half 24 times 32. And when we multiply that, we get our area is equal to 384 centimeters squared.